Continuing with our mock draft coverage, it's time to talk kickers. Very exciting stuff. I'm Sierra Goodwill here with Evan Lazar. Obviously, the Patriots releasing veteran kicker Stephen Gaskowski, who they have really had to re have relied on for 14 years now. And before that, it was Vinatieri. So they haven't really had to address the kicker position for quite some time, except for last year in 2019 when he was on IR. But do you have the Patriots drafting a kicker, and who do you like? I do. I have them picking a kicker in the sixth round. I'll talk about it in a second. But I think this is really a two-horse race. The reason why I have them picking the second horse is because he's going to be available a little bit later in the draft. But if we're going to talk about kickers in this draft, we have to talk about Rodrigo Blankenship from Georgia. It's just not an option to leave him off. I think he's going to be probably a fourth or a fifth round pick. The fifth round is the sweet spot. That's a spot you want to take specialists. It's not a valuable round in the draft. It's where the Patriots took Jake Bailey, Joe Cardona, a couple of different other specialists. So if they can get Blake and Chip in the fifth round, I think Belichick's going to jump for joy. But he looks like more of a fourth-round guy. This is a guy, as a former walk-on, earned a scholarship at Georgia by basically just kicking excellently for every season that he was a Bulldog. 82.5% field goal percentage, 92% on field goals inside of 40 yards. So he is money. And one of the things that you notice about him when you watch him is that every single kick looks the same. Even if the ones that he misses, he's never miss hitting the football. This, his technique is never sloppy. And kicking is a lot like a golf swing, right? You just want that repetition. You want it to look the same every single time. And Blankenships does that. He can also mash touchback as well and can do kickoff duties too so he's like if the Patriots want to turn back the clocks and they picked Stephen Guskowski in the fourth round in 2006 they could pick Blankenship in the fourth round this year and people might scoff or be uninterested in listening to a video about kickers but Bill Belichick really values special teamers like he really values them just as much as Offensive players, defensive players, we know this about him. This is why Matthew Slater has been the face of the organization for a really long time. So this is probably a decision that he is giving some thought to, obviously. Do you actually see him going in 2020 with a kicker from this upcoming draft? Or do you think he's going to try to get a veteran who is available uh, around the league? Well, I will say this. The Patriots, for whatever reason, in 2006 were fine with moving on from Adam Vinatieri to draft Stephen Guskowski. That was the plan, right? They knew that they could let Vinatieri walk in free agency to Indianapolis because they loved Guskowski that much. Now, fast forward 14 years, and they've cut the Goskowski in March, and the draft is a month away. It kind of suggests that they might have their eyes on somebody again in the draft that they really, really like. They have a knack for scouting specialists. I mean, they obviously got it right with Jake Bailey. He can absolutely boom it, so they've got something going there. So I think it's really between Blankenship and the guy I selected for them in the sixth round, which is Tyler Bass from Georgia Southern. Bass has a little bit of a bigger leg. He's kicked in a little bit more of the elements at times, too. Still a Georgia guy, but he's moved around a little bit and been able to kick in some outdoor stadiums and some inclement weather, which, again, you can't underrate here in New England that they're going to have to kick in snow. They're going to have to kick in wind and rain. We know what the conditions can be like in you know the winter times here in, in Boston and in New England. So that's going to be a big part of this evaluation. You know, A guy like Blankenship is awesome, but he's never kicked outside of really the SEC and that those kind of warmer climates. So I'm interested to see how the Patriots handle that sort of thing. But it's pretty clear to me, based off of the release of Guskowski, that they have their eye on somebody in April. Well, for all of our mock draft coverage, head over to our website at clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patriots Press Pass.